What happens when a NATO member state is threatened? How does a political organization defend itself? What's the best way to deter emerging aggressors? Since its creation 67 years ago, NATO's approach to these questions has, understandably, varied substantially. In 2003, in the wake of international terrorist attacks, the NATO Response Force, or NRF, was created. It's a rapid response military unit designed to provide swift assistance to member countries in need, to react quickly when crisis strikes. Following the NATO summit in Wales in 2014, it was upgraded so as to take on new security challenges in Eastern and Southern Europe. Today, it boasts 40,000 troops, including an advance guard that is light on its feet and can reach an emergency hotspot in just a few days. This smaller spearhead is called the Very High Readiness Joint Task Force, or VJTF. And this year is led by the Brulat Brigade from Pontevedra, Spain. Over 1,000 Spanish soldiers have traveled to Poland and during the next few weeks will train the VJTF through a series of three exercises called Brilliant Jump, Valiant Falcon, and Anaconda. They will move to the area of concentration in Zagan. We will put all the, all the force together there. We will integrate all the different contributions and a Polish battalion will join us there. And all that force together after the integration force will be ready to deploy wherever uh, the operation requires us to go. They'll be joined by a British battalion in preparation for the UK's leadership of the VJTF next year, as well as Albanian and Polish troops. These military exercises are the first full-scale training of the VJTF, just in time for the NATO summit in Warsaw at the start of July. <laughs>